I'ma tell y'all to y'all a little secret. So the Planet Fitness I go to is in a 99.5% persons of color. Is this nigga gonna slow down? No, bitch, pay attention. My bad, but it's in a 99.95 persons of color populated gym. Like you're either black, you might be some variant of Asian, you're Latino, Chicano, Hispanic. You're a person of color. That's majority house here. And today, there were two white people, just two. An older white man and a very frumpy middle-aged might white woman. And I know I wasn't the only one looking at them with hella suspicion in my heart because of how society is right now, because of the way people are right now. I come from a time where motherfuckers dry clean and hung they, they fucking clan sheets up in the closet and didn't tell nobody. Nowadays, these motherfuckers got swastikas on their forehead. They hanging their white sheets up on the line. Them niggas got niggas stank as they ringtone. So we all, I, I, was, I was looking at them like, why are y'all here? Are y'all finna shoot up the fucking gym? Please don't come in here starting no shit. Fuckers, oh shit. That's what happens when you have bootleg headphones. You gotta basically glue them shits to the side of your fucking head. I know I got a low battery. That's what life is. But yeah, looking at them white folks, like, please don't come up here and shoot up the spot. Please don't. But y'all know it would have been y'all too. You go to a gym and everybody in there name is either fucking Keisha, Tyrone, or fucking Jose and Maria, and motherfucking Bob and Becky roll up in that bitch. You'd have questions too, like, where y'all niggas come from? And please don't shoot up the spot. I'm just in here trying to get my sweat on. Oh, child. And I wasn't the only one. All little gym bunnies was in there trying to get their motherfucking life. Well, not all of them, but a couple. Some bitches that look like like they've been in the Dominican Republic recently. If you know what I mean. Now, I, I'll say this to y'all. It's a limited crowd. You love me or you don't. I'm trying to get out of judging people. I judge people. I do. Some people you can just tell are doing the motherfucking extra. And I'm in the gym. And this one particular gym bunny, she got the titties. Like, I'm not even kidding. They like this. She got, or she don't. I believe she did, though. She had her waist cincher on with her little booty popping um, shorts on. And with a little jacket on that, like, cropped up underneath the tit. You could see it was an attention getter outfit. And then she had the nerve to have a bootleg Chanel water bottle. And when I say a bootleg Chanel water bottle, I'm not talking about, you know, a reusable water bottle you go and you get that Chanel might sell with their athletic gear that I'm not informed about that they fucking sell. Why? Because why the fuck? When the fuck did Chanel start selling athletic gear? But if they do, maybe they sell water bottles. But that's not what she had. That bitch had a oh, that bitch had a water bottle like this with a Chanel fucking thing on it, a black and white Chanel fucking bag on little uh, logo on it. I know good and goddamn well Chanel ain't fucking stocking that. I know good and goddamn well. And I'm going to tell you straight up. I'm going to keep it a G. I ain't never shopped at Chanel. Never. Never owned anything from Chanel. Occasionally, I'll tell you the truth. I fuck up the spelling and put two N's. Sure do. And then got to sound it out and erase an N. I'll be honest about the shit. But I know good and goddamn well Chanel ain't got no motherfucking water available to you with their logo on it. That's so tacky. They do not have their own water bottles in there while you're shopping at the store. And if I'm wrong, ask a friend. I, matter of fact, I'll Google it. Never mind. I'll make sure and I'll retract what I'm saying, but I'm sure they did. This bitch with a hat on so you can't see her frontal was lifted or her closure one clothes or whatever the fuck the story was. She had a leather fucking baseball cap on, titties up to her chin, booty shorts popping. I was going to say cute in the face, but I honestly couldn't see the bitch face. I was too busy feeling myself on a treadmill. Now let me say something. Whenever I sweat, especially when I sweat good, I feel like the sexiest thing moving. I'm in that bitch getting it. I'm sweating it. You see the sweat? That shit is sexy as shit to me. I feel like I look, I feel like what the doll, honey. You can't tell me. Sweat is sexy in my butt. You see it? Sweat I think that shit is sexy. That's just how I am. So I'm thinking I'm, you know, fly is all fuck. 
here come this video vixen i'm just like who, who are you dressed for are you really just to come to the gym are you trying to pick one of these niggas up and which one of these niggas is you trying to pick up because if you really in the gym to fucking get your workout on you're not paying this heifer no motherfucking mind anyway not for long and if you looking at her you're not gonna you're not finna stop your for i wasn't finna stop my workout to be like girl you got a fat juicy booty you just gonna have to have a fat juicy booty and i need to get these reps in hope so i was just like who is she in here for the old undisciplined ass nigga or the old asshole ass nigga that's gonna give you the time of day while he tries to talk to you flex like yeah girl yeah girl i do it girl. so i was like wow she doing a lot there was another mama sita in there this bitch concerned me she might have been my age if she was younger god bless her because honestly i was gonna say she might have been my age she might have been older but clearly she had been to dr clearly she had had um seen somebody about her backside she had her waist cincher on she had that not waist cincher she had one of the waist slimmers on I, and that's another thing. Why bitches be wearing the waist slimmer on the outside of their clothes? That's not how that works. She had her waist central, I mean, and on. I'm surprised that bitch wasn't throwing up. That shit was so fucking tight. I know her waist wasn't naturally that small. Her ass was swole out, stuck into the fucking street. It was so goddamn big. Old ass face. And I was like, why would you do that? Why would you why would you go through all that? Why would you why would you put yourself through all of that? That just seems so unnecessary. And it was still high. Her ass was still sitting up high. It was a high. So you know she recently got it done. Don't let these big booty holes fool you. Eventually, all that um, silicone, fix it flat, peanut butter, baby oil, whatever the fuck is in their ass, coconut oil. Eventually, all that shit slides down their fucking leg. And it ain't that fucking pretty. I don't care what you say. I don't care what you think you believe. Unless you the bitch that then had you some silicone or some, some, some booty shots or whatever for more than 10 years. Ho, your ass fitting to be on your kneecaps eventually. And this ain't a hater talking because I guess I would hate on somebody who really had it. But you bitches don't really look like that. I can't hate on a bitch that wish she looked like she actually done made fucking paid for. You don't look like that bitch. You done took Photoshop too fucking far. Me in the gym looking at this swole booty bitch and then, you know, fake Chanel. That shit tickled my motherfucking spirit. I can't even lie. That shit tickled my motherfucking spirit. She had the, the strut. Y'all know the strut. Y'all know the strut. She came in there like this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch, let me see if I can set this up for y'all. All right, y'all ready? Wait, hold on. She came in like this. So you can see the Chanel. You just a hater. You just mad that you don't look like that. Let me tell you something. In my youth, where anything was possible, except anything. Yeah, that's right. Any motherfucking thing. Anything was possible. I didn't want to look like that. There was no reason in life's name I wanted my ass to look like that. And, and here's the deal. If you was a young girl of color, we all wanted a big booty, but we also all came to the conclusion, I wasn't born like that. It's just not in my scope of possibilities. That's not in my motherfucking range. And then you got older and then you was like, never mind now, nigga. I'm not trying to fucking make it all the way to motherfucking 50 and finally put down on a house because that's the truth. I didn't make it all the way to 50 to finally be able to put down on my first fucking house to die a year later because a bitch done stuck fix a flat in my ass for me to what? For what? To impress who? These other hoes? Because that's who bitches is doing for. Don't let these motherfuckers be like, do it for a man. Ain't nobody doing all that shit for a man. Nobody. Even other dudes, and I know dudes, that get their ass pumped. They ain't doing it for no man. They doing it for each other. They doing it for their peers. I got a fatter ass than Susie. I got bigger titties than Becky. I got sexier calves than Calvin. Ain't nobody doing it for no other fucking hoe. So when bitches like that come up in the gym, I'm like, what nigga is you trying to find? What bitch is you trying to find in here? And then I'm like, you not. You in here trying to trying to make another bitch feel bad about herself. So like, Look at how my body up. Look. Oh, I look, I need to make all my videos at this angle. A bitch stomach look flat than a motherfucker at this angle. Look at me, bitch. That's, that's the extent of my Photoshop, bitch. A bitch gotta find an angle, a skinny angle. Oh, my shoulders look good. 
My booty almost look like, oh shit, let me move these comments for a hot second. Hold on, y'all. Make it look right, right? Do all the, do all the videos like this. Bitch. Oh, bitch, I look good. This face, don't worry about that. It's natural, it's natural. I'm living my life like it's golden. Look. She in there to try to make another bitch feel like she can't accomplish it. Ho, you can't accomplish it either. You only went to see Mr. Rodri Dr. Rodriguez down in DR and accomplished it, ho. You ain't gonna make me feel bad because you got a couple more dollars for me and decided to waste it on your fucking booty that ain't getting you no fucking wear. And that's another thing. If you bitches is gonna pay to get your ass popped and your titties pressed and all that good shit, why you don't fix your fucking faces first? I'm just saying, there's a lot of shit that becomes forgivable when you's a pretty motherfucker. Do people not know that? When you really like flawless in the face, people will forgive a lot of shit that's going on on your body. Especially when a lot of the shit that you fronting for is on social media. See, now my things disappeared, okay. A lot of the shit these bitches is living for is on social media. So you can motherfucking keep your whole life from here. Bitch, from here, I'm a size fucking two. From here, bitch got six packs. My thighs is on fleek. You can see all the muscles. I got a size five shoe from here. The face ain't bad. I ain't worried about this mug. I don't know why bitches don't bother to get their face fixed. First thing they do is run out and get some illegitimate ass surgery on their ass. I need these things. Shit might go wrong real quick. I might not be able to eat for a motherfucking week, bitch. I'ma need the fat on these titties and this ass to last, to sustain a bitch. Okay? You guys continue to have a great day. I know y'all saw me with this whole... Y'all see this? Let me let me be honest with y'all. Look. It's not braided, and I'm not braiding it. It's just way too much fucking going on here. Hey, I just wanted to go live and talk shit just for a little while because this is a little bit easier than recording, uploading... Recording, editing, and uploading a video. All right? I love every last one of the six of you. <laughs> All right, bye.